We made it to Friday. You guys have been crushing it all week. I want to go over our I can statement and then address the drawing that we have on the board. So repeat after me. I can solve word problems by identifying place value and counting by tens. We know that whenever we want to represent a tens, we draw our rectangular cube. The reason why we draw this is because if we ever, ever, ever need to show a picture, if I wanted to show 15, I don't want to draw 15 counters because that's going to take so long. So the reason why we draw this is because we know that this represents 10. Then how many more counters will I need to draw? Yes, five counters. So it allows me to work a lot faster. The other reason is because inside of this are actually imaginary lines that equal 10. So let's draw them. So if I count, I would see that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 single cubes inside of this 10 cube. So let's remember that the reason why we draw this is because we want to represent our tens in a faster, more effective way. We're going to get ready to jump into our word problem of the day. Before we get into our word problem, make sure that you take a look at our definition words because we have been working on that all week. Our problem of the day says the following. 30 kids ran out to the park. 40 more kids ran out after. How many kids are at the park now? In order to work this out, we know that we're going to start off with our strategy of, yes, cubes. C stands for circle key numbers. What two numbers are our key numbers 30 and what is the other one yes 40 awesome U stands for great job underline the question so my question is asking me how many kids are out at the park now B stands for box in math words 30 kids ran out to the park, 40 more. More lets me know that we're gonna add kids ran out after. How many kids are at the park now? Then we wanna do our E, which is evaluate. This is when our brain starts moving and thinking, right? 
So what two numbers do I have? I have 30 and I have 40. And so let me just jump ahead because I already know that more lets me know that I'm going to add. I'm trying to find out how many kids ran in the park, how many kids are in the park now. So now I want to solve this. I know that this week we've been focusing on writing our addition problems. Yes, vertically. But is this written vertically? It's not. It's written horizontally from left to right. We're focusing on place value counting by tens. Can I solve my math problem while it is written horizontally? I'm getting some yeses, getting some noes. Well, let's see if we can solve. I'm going to try to solve this horizontally first because we're counting by tens. And then I'll solve it vertically. And let's see if we get the same answer. Well, I know that the process is going to be the same. I know that I'm going to start off with drawing my picture. So how many 10 cubes am I going to draw for 30? How many 10s does it have? Three 10s in the number 30. So I'm going to go ahead and draw three. One, two, three. And I know that if I count this, I'll count it by 10. So 10, 20, 30, it is the same number. Now, remember at the beginning, I said that it's important for us to draw it like this because imagine if I had to draw 30 little counters like that, I'll be going crazy. So that's why we don't do that. We draw our columns instead. Now I'm moving on to 40. How many tens are in the number 40? 10, 20, 30. Oh, so if we can't tell by place value, then I can tell by using my fingers. Mr. Nieves just counted by tens up to 40. 10, 20, 30, 40. How many fingers do I have up? Yes, four. So how many am I going to draw? Four. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to count them all to make sure that it equals my answer. So count with me. Are we counting by ones down here? No, we're counting by tens. Let me hear you say it. We're counting by tens. Ready? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 is my answer. Okay, so I'm going to leave 70 up here. And now I'm going to try to solve it vertically. So vertically means up and down. So I use a different color so that we can separate and let's see if I get the same answer so 30 plus 40 what does it equal I'm gonna separate I know that my left side or the first position is my ones place second position is my tens place I'll put a T to represent that in my tens place I see that I have how many tens three tens Draw this one, two, three. Over here, I have no ones, but I know that I have how many tens? Four tens. So let me draw them here. Two, three, four. Now let me count them all together. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Did I get the same answer both ways? Great job. When we're counting by tens, we can add it horizontally or vertically because all we're doing is adding 10 more. It's the same. When we have some ones involved, that's when we do it vertically because it's easier for us to see and for us to count. But if you ever get in a situation where you have to have to solve it horizontally, you know how to do it. So am I done? I have my answer up here, but did I label my answer? No, I didn't. So I would label this what? How many kids are at the park now? I would say 70 kids are at home. <laughs> no, even though you got you guys are at home, the question isn't asking us. I would say that 70 kids are at the park. Awesome job.
You guys did a great job this week. Next week, we're going to continue practicing our place value. So remember everything that you guys have learned this week. Like I said before, if you need to rewind and look at this video again, please feel free to. Do a great job on your classroom. We're going to see who's going to get a shout out next Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Bye.